Hello and welcome to our Revit 2017 structural project video series. We're going to start this off by creating a base project using the metric installed structural template file. So we'll go up here to the application pull down and say new project. And there's a structural imperial one here. I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to go up a level and I'm going to go US metric and structural analysis default. Okay. Um, metric up. I'm not even sure what that up one is. Hit OK and OK. So I start off a new file with the right template file. It's always important you start with the right template file because it's kind of pre-established for that particular discipline. Theoretically and, and actually, realistically, you can convert any file to a structural mechanical. In the end, they are all the same, but there's you can um, save yourself a lot of trouble by creating and using a structural template file that has all the predetermined stuff ready to roll um, and a lot of the families loaded. So speaking of which, let's have a look at the families that come with this base file. We're going to go down here to structural beam systems. What do we have? We have beam system there, framing. We'll have a look at that later. Columns, what do we have? Concrete rectangular and a concrete universal. We have a structural Fabrication, we're not going to do much of that. Um, foundations, what do we have? Foundation slab, we have a footing rectangular and a wall foundation. Good. Structural framing, we've got a concrete beam HSS square um, beam and universal uh, beam. Structural loads, rebar, stiffeners, trusses. Okay, so let's... Um, I've got my Windows Explorer open here, and this is the um, Program Data Autodesk Revit 2017 Libraries metric. This is the folder where the families are all. So rather than going up here and saying insert, load family, load family, takes forever, um, it's easier to just drag them in from here. So if you want some columns um, at this point, although it won't prompt you to select which ones, it'll load all the different types. But if you wanted to go into here and steal and say, okay, you know, I want a wide flange, wide flange column, click on here and you see the TXT file, that's the um, type library. So if I take that RFA and drag it in, it'll load that um, family into my project. And it'll prompt me to place one at the same time and I'll just hit escape. So that's in my project. So I wanted to bring a wide flange in and what else do I want to bring in? Um, steel angle, not a steel angle column. I want a steel angle. Oh, I'm in columns, so I'm only going to get columns in here. So that's fine. Let's go back up to metric. And let's go to structural framing and steel. And then I can bring in a channel, drag one of those in. And I'm going to want a joist. Um, H, where's a K series joist? Here we go. K series uh, bar joist web. So I'll bring in one of those. And there's my steel angle. Okay, I'll bring in one of those. Now are they coming in? Let's have a look. Structural framing, there's my channel, there's my HSS that was already there. Steel angle, bar joist. Uh, structural T, girder, welded wide flange. Um, yes, wide flange, standard wide, because these are beams, not um, columns. The other wide flange was a column, so M wide flange brings that in, escape, and maybe an HSS. No, I don't need one for framing. So again, these are non-columns, okay? 
have a look around. Let's go back here. What else do we have? Structural trusses, stiffeners, retaining walls, rebar, foundations. What do we have? Pile cap, uh, four unit pile cap. Let's bring one of those in just to have it. Putting rectangular, I already have in there. Columns, connections, framing. Yeah, that should do for now. If I need any more, I'll get them in later. I'll bring them in later. Escape, escape. Okay. So all I did there was start off our structural project, and I haven't really done anything other than we had a look at the families. We brought in a couple of columns, and we brought in some foundation stuff, and we brought in some um, some framing stuff. So um, that's it. We'll be ready to roll in our next lesson. Um, what we'll do, we should probably save this project um, and take it from there. So let's uh, let's save this as our um, project um, lesson two, and then we'll use that in our next one. So we've started this off with a base template file that comes with Revit, and now we are going to save that um, and use it in our next lesson.